Hello everyone, welcome to Somehow I Design. This is Yunus Emin Aljul and today we are going to be talking about uh, 3D modeling in automotive industry in general. Especially we are going to be comparing alias subdivisional modeling and the blender subdivisional modeling. Uh, the differences between alias and the blender since uh, both are uh, used in the automotive industry. So this is going to be uh, strictly about the usage of the automotive industry. Uh, it's not about the, any other unrelated industry that I am talking about. Uh, so the opinions, my personal opinions, covers the automotive industry workflows only. So actually, have you ever heard about the um, phrase that Alias is the best software for surface modeling or um, Blender 3D is easy to learn? Well, actually, these are really uh, subjective thoughts uh, there is a logical reason behind every software is chosen uh, to be used uh, of course i'm going to be talking about my personal opinions here but if you are beginner uh, to these softwares especially if you are aiming to land a job in automotive industry i hope this video inspires you and if you are professional already in the industry let me know what you guys think in the end of at the end of the video so yeah um Without further ado, let's jump to the Alias. Uh, as you may know, Alias is one of the most dominant software in automotive industry. And this is exactly why most of the design studios in the automotive industry are expecting you to know how to operate uh, Alias uh, as a designer or as a 3D modeler, such as myself. Um, pretty much Alias can cover from conceptual phase uh, and the to the production ready uh, surfaces. While Blender 3D uh, is not as dominant as uh, Alias in automotive industry, but the usage of Blender 3D spreads rapidly. Uh, if I should only talk about the automotive industry aspect of it, Blender 3D serves sub D modeling and the rendering animation side, I mean the visualization side, very quality visualization side of it uh, in this uh, automotive industry field, which is great. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we can begin to compare to uh, in the world of 3D modeling and visualization. Um, on the on the left hand side we have Alias. On the right hand side we have Blender 3D. Uh, regarding to the 3D modeling, Alias uh, gives us the opportunity to sub D modeling, nerves modeling, and the Bezier modeling. So Bezier modeling is pretty much the as a summary nerves modeling, but without the spans. Uh, if you are familiar with this field, you already know what I mean. Um, which, yeah, which is different techniques that I'm talking about here. And the Blender modeling is um, on the right hand side, sub D modeling only. So in Blender 3D, uh, within the automotive industry aspect, you are uh, doing sub D modeling only. Um, about the surface quality, Alias offers us a high quality surfacing, while the Blender 3D uh, offers us visually appealing modeling. So pretty much Blender, uh, when it comes to 3D modeling side, um, offers us the early conceptual uh, development of 3D modeling, not the uh, later, much more precise, much more definitive areas. It's pretty much happening on Alias. Of course, there are other softwares such as Katia and ISM Surface. But yes, uh, amongst them, most popular one is Alias, used in the design studios of automotive industry. So this is why I am comparing Alias and Blender, since I am the user of Alias as well. And Alias has, like I said, a high industry adaptation, uh, while Blender has limited industry adaptation. Uh, the cons of Alias, one of the cons of Alias is uh, Alias have has low quality of visualization, while Blender has high quality of visualization. No questions at all. Um, the quality of design review experience is limited in Alias. I mean, design re review experience, what I mean here is, uh, once you get together with your clients or with your managers or maybe your team members, colleagues, um, we pretty much do design reviews, right? Uh, but we kind of prefer the, these reviews to happen in the pretty much the rendering softwares, not the directly 3D modeling softwares. Of course, there are phases that we 
use 3D modeling softwares directly uh, for design reviews for the technical stuff. But the experience is quite limited regarding to the realism of it. While Blender offers us a very quality, high quality design review options such as renderings, animations, you name it. And last but not least, Alias, as you already know, is too expensive. Um, I mean, as an individual, it is almost impossible to purchase, but offers to educational free license, which is good. Um, on the other hand, Blender is free and open source, which is amazing and pretty much the foundation of, of it, actually. The foundation of the Blender was free and open source. This is why it took most of the 3D Max or Maya users kind of switch to the Blender. Um, yeah, uh, if you are Blender users, as far as I know, it goes with uh, donation. It kind of donation based software. Uh, maybe if you are a regular user of Blender, you can give it a shot to donate some. Yeah. <laughs> With that being said, since uh, we talk all about these aspects of both softwares, um, yeah, I can say they both are so powerful softwares, actually. Um, especially Blender, not only it's restricted with automotive industry, it uh, spreads almost every industry that is kind of happening right now as a visual base. So Blender has a huge potential compared to the Alias because Alias is only focused on automotive industry. As a small portion of Blender, small portion of Blender is focused on automotive industry. I mean, the, the um, bigger portion of Blender 3D is not about automotive industry at all. It is about the other industry. So, um, yeah. As a summary, if you, I mean, my personal opinion, if you like to go deep dive in 3D modeling, I mean, the, the, the possible right choice is to go with Alias IC, uh, because once you step in to the Alias, let's, let's say for subdivisional modeling only, um, there are possibilities to use NURBS modeling tools as well. Once you are, um, once you get used to navigating within the software, operating it uh, in a in a better way, you can you can jump between the different modeling techniques that are used in automotive industry in an easier way. But if you get used to do Blender subdivisional modeling, if you like to jump to the earliest uh, surface modeling, let's say you kind of uh, begin to feel some adaptation problems, so. Uh, I mean, personally, I rather to uh, give it a shot to Alias uh, for sub D modeling as well, which uh, I did in my uh, professional journey. I directly jumped into the Alias surface modeling, and then I was like thinking to jump Blender to to do some sub D three D modelings. Then I I am I was talking to myself like I already know how to navigate within alias i got used to the user interface and so on uh, why don't i try uh, sub d modeling inside of the alias so which is pretty much the same um, sub d tools in most of the um softwares is pretty much the same you gotta get logic first once you are familiar with the sub d modeling logic you kind of you can begin to perform uh, in every similar softwares uh, after you kind of jump the um adaptation phase let's say but on the other hand um when we look at the blender blender is quite good about um, rendering and animation studies um, in automotive industry there are tons of um, use case tutorials in youtube you can easily find and uh, they'll uh, Im improve your skill set i highly suggest you to learn um, Blender 3D as a rendering purposes, visualization purposes, uh, only if you are strictly focused on automotive industry. For 3D modeling alias, for visualization purposes, uh, my opinion is Blender 3D is uh, would be the right choice. But of course, this topic is debatable. Um, most of you have 
your own opinions and i'd like to hear from you guys as well in the comment section let me know what you think um, um thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe like the video comment your thoughts below like i told you before and yeah see you on the next one bye bye